Greetings, I am Isha. And I am Linux. Together, we're going to talk about social inequality. Hmm. Yes. First, let me tell you the definition of social inequality. Social inequality is an area within sociology that focuses in the distribution of goods and burdens in society. It is also when people have more focus in valuing status, preferences, or categories above others. This is a degree to which a person's personal background defined by their parents' social class or economic status influences that person's opportunities in life. So Yusha, do you have some extra knowledge about social inequality? If so, mind sharing it to us? Right, Linux. I've researched about it, and social inequality includes the unequal distributions in wealth, opportunities, rewards, and even punishments. This is where actions leads to injustice. Hmm, right. It is the differentiation preference of access of social goods in society brought up by power, religion, kinship, prestige, race, ethnicity, gender, age, sexual orientation, and class. Take a look on how is social inequality viewed in our society. I hope this crucial part in world seriality will soon be, let's say, terminated. But now that we have learned about social inequalities, Yisha, do you mind giving us an explanation or a situation and explain it how the social inequality interrelated and occurring in today's society? Sure, Linux. Good timing. I have now something in my mind. Social inequality refers to the relational process in society that have the effect of limiting or harming a group's social status, social class, and social circle. The areas of social inequality include access to voting rights, freedom of speech and assembly, the extent of property rights and access to education, health care, quality housing, traveling, transportation, vacationing, and other social goods and services. Yes, you're right. Social inequality can emerge through a society's understanding of appropriate gender roles or through the prevalence of social stereotyping. Social inequality can also be established through discriminatory legislation. You are welcome, Linux. Can you discuss to us the relationship between social inequality and wealth? Sure, Hisha. But I have a question for our dear friend, Sophia. For you, how does society define wealth? For me, wealth or net worth is defined as total assets minus total liabilities. Assets are resources with economic value. Think houses, retirement funds, and savings accounts. Thank you, Sophia. The relation between social inequality and wealth. Well... Wealth is measured by monetary value, more so assets. People classified as wealthy people holds power over others. Here, social inequality occurs, where people look up to their wealth as valuable as it is. Oh, what about social inequality and power? Um, uh, power is quite complex concept which includes the ability or capacity to do or not to do something. The politicians not, do not only acquire powers, many desires for power. Power holds ultimate authorization that could be used in manipulation and management. It is on the user if they choose to abuse their power. Oh, I see. So, how does power linked to inequality? This unequal distribution of power across the population that leads to health inequalities. Yes. Uh-huh. Until our last topic, I'm happy to share my knowledge about it. But answer this first. What is prestige in society? Prestige refers to the reputation or esteem associated with one's position in society, which is closely up, tied up to their social classes. Yay, you're right. Well, respect is most likely to be earned in society, 
It depends in the effort or deeds, the parallels with social expectations. Biased opinions and preferences of the people's tradition are the main focus of prestige. Wait, as we close this talk, let me show to you the effect of social inequality in our society. Social inequality affects nearly every dimension of our lives. Sadly, in the middle and upper classes, studies show that they live five years longer than those with lower wage families. Thus, we must end the stigma and terminate the inequalities that are still rampant in today's time.